Hi guys doing this is Tino from LIPC Networking and today I'm gonna show you how to replace the actual uh, screen on a T-Mobile Blackberry C10 if you see the screen is cracked right here so I got the new piece and this one is the LCD is attached to a digitizer so it's one solid piece right here so uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, so for this you're gonna use a T3 you can use some tweezers you can just sell flat little spatula or you can use one of these plastics to remove it around okay so in this case I'm gonna use this tool the little spatula so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the back panel after you remove the back panel what you're gonna do remove the battery and you're gonna remove this um, Screws right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, when your phone is brand new, you're gonna see that it's covered from one sticker right here on this area. So you're gonna take that off so that you're gonna find the screw on there. Okay, so let me remove the screws for that. So I'm gonna use this because some of the screws they stay inside a little bit. I'm gonna use little tweezers to pull it up faster. and the last one over here so after you did that you're gonna start opening this this is a whole frame that is gonna come out right here so you can lift it from this area right here a little slowly you can put the little spatula on this area and it's gonna come off completely try to use this so that you don't broke this or snap it in half gonna put it on the side and after that you're gonna uh, uh, something that I forgot is this little spatula you can use or you can use your nails to remove these connectors one of the connectors is this one by the headphone jack area another one is the one for the LCD and digitizer and this area so once you remove that uh, the last one is gonna be by the camera area and that's it it's gonna have some uh, adhesive right here so you are just gonna remove it slowly just be careful so that you don't rip anything take the motherboard out and once you take the motherboard out uh, either if you mess up your speaker you can replace your speaker right here or you can replace the headphone jack or the vibrate motor right here in this area because this new PC has everything attached if you see it has the motor it has the um, headphone jack you can buy it like that and um, so let's start putting everything back so first thing is gonna be the board we're gonna leave the connector lift it up and put the camera in place This is really, really easy to, to repair, especially for people that, if they're not experts on this, just have to be patient and and remove the connectors, like, really, really careful. I'm going to put the motor back, then the headphone jack, and then the other connector for the, for the actual LCD and digitizer and all that. Let me see. So there is one, the other one, 
just make sure that they're connected all the way in and the last one over here so once that you have that you're gonna get the plastic back again just make sure there is no dust on the actual camera and then put it on top and start closing all the way once that is completely closed either you can put the battery and test it just to make sure that it's on but I trust myself so which, what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna put those all the screws back right here and um, let's say if you wanna when you open it up if you have your same card and all that SD card just make sure that you remove all that before that you start the process and then let me tie these screws right here that little word it was a ringtone that I have for my text message I just got a text message okay Normally, if you use a magnetized um, screwdriver, or, uh, it will help you to put the screws faster. But uh, for some of the devices, I don't like to have it magnetized. So, and uh, this is really simple. Just make sure they don't tie the screws too much because if not, you can break the little area, the little thing that is holding. Just make sure they are just like nicely tie not too tight once that you finish with that you're gonna put your battery back and you get the back panel okay so once you finish putting everything back together you make sure just make sure that it's sealed all the way around right here and now let's test the actual device see the lights turning on we hope it's working. <laughs> Here we go. Blackberry. This one it comes with a little plastic thing. So you can see that everything is nice. And I'm doing this one for a customer, so obviously I don't want to remove it to show that everything is clean. That's the only thing that I hate with blackberries, they take a while to turn on. But it's almost finished. So for any repairs you guys can pass by to our store or you can actually ship your device. Um, once that we get it, we fix it the same day and ship it back to you next day. And um, we have everything in stock for Apple devices. We have uh, for uh, Galaxies like Galaxy S4, Galaxy S3, Note, uh, Note 2, Note 3. Here you go. Come on, enter. Actually, this guy has a password. Okay. So, the only thing that we're going to be allowed to do is test the actual touchscreen for right now. So just make sure that you test everything on your device. Just just um, uh, check the power and all that. And you're gonna be working completely fine, like having a new phone. Here we go. So I hope this tutorial help you. Uh, this is really, really, really basic, really simple. So I believe any guy, anybody can fix it. So I hope this help you to fix your device. It's not it's not too complicated compared to that, uh, an iPhone or a Galaxy or anything like that. So I hope you guys like it. Thank you. Please comment and subscribe. And whenever you need anything, just pass by to the store. We can take care of that for you. Take care, guys.